Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehtab bringing you your first tutorial on skin retouching. So let's just dive into it. Uh, today we'll be doing frequency separation. So to do so, I will create two copies of this layer. So I'm basically going to split this entire photo into colors and textures. Um, I will name this layer as low frequency, hence just color. And this I'll name as high and texture for your reference. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to switch off this layer and we're going to come to this low frequency layer and I basically need to remove all the texture that we have in this. So to begin with we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm going to basically take a value where I am no longer able to see any of her skin texture. So now if I keep bumping it up, if I bring it to 7.6, I feel at this point I'm not able to see any of her skin texture. It's only the skin tones that are visible. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to switch on the high texture layer. Now in this layer, I need to remove all the colors that are available. For that, I'll go to Image, Apply Image. Uh, in the layer panel, I will select Low. Uh, in the blending mode, I will select subtract. So I'm basically subtracting the colors, aka the low frequency from this image. You can leave these values as it is and click OK. Um, when you come to the blend modes over here and select linear light, uh, the image will seem just as it is. So if you switch these two off, there's no change. That means these two images combine, these two layers combine to form this image. So now comes the retouching part. I'll switch off this layer. So I'm going to come over to my brush panel. I'm going to select Mixer Brush. Now think this Mixer Brush as a beauty blender that makeup artists use. Uh, you have to make sure that this layer, this option is turned off. So you're using a transparent brush. Uh, keep your flow to 15%. So it keeps the f intensity of the brush uh, pretty low. Keep the wetness at 5%. Don't go crazy with it. Otherwise, your edit will be all over the place. Uh, and so we'll begin. I will just start blending all the colors. I usually like to turn this layer off and do it so I can just see colors. And it's easier to spot areas like this, areas like this uh, that needs the colors to be mixing. So I'll begin doing that. Uh, but you just need to be a bit more accurate about it. P don't touch uh, all the darker parts, so her hair or her eyes. Otherwise, you'll end up bleeding that color into her skin tone. Uh, we can blend all these colors. The highlight on her nose. Her forehead. It's nice and smooth. Make it look realistic. Don't go crazy with it. Uh, Again, this is like a trial and error thing. You'll get used to it based on how uh, much of this technique would you like to use. Uh, I've seen people go really crazy with it. Uh, I personally like to keep it realistic, but it's at the end of the day up to you. Uh, you have these lines that are very, they are part of anyone's face and that's kind of as like a realism. Uh, you can still, however, blend them a bit, but I would suggest to not go too crazy with it. It just look way more realistic that way. Just blend underneath her nose, her chin. At this point, your image should look plasticky because you have no texture. So that's the whole idea. Yes, I think that does it. Now just to give you what we've done is I'm going to turn on the texture layer. So this is what it looks after re the retouch and this is what it looked before, after the retouch, before. So basically what we've done is we've uh, smoothed out all the highlights on her nose and on her cheek and her chin and kind of flattened the image. Uh, which I think does pretty much the work on its own. Uh, you can add a lot more depth to the image by doing some uh, global dodge and burn which I'll be covering in the next video uh, but for now this is a very good way to even out all your skin tones so yeah that's about it if you like what I've done uh, please subscribe uh, let me know what you guys think and I will see you soon take care signing off